pretty nice. And here it comes! Hello, battlers! Ross Mero here, and today we're going to be opening a box of BS52 Returner. Alright, so this is my very first opening of a main series Battle Spirits booster on my channel and this booster marks the beginning of the brand new phase in Battle Spirits as well, the Rebirth Saga. And of course, it features many cards with the brand new mechanic, Rebirth. So let's see what we get in our first booster. So we're starting off with Golem, this is for Hephaestus. I'm just gonna quickly go through the... Basically the non-foil cards, I'm going to treat it like my other card game openings and only talk about the effects for the foils that I pull. Okay, oh this is a pretty cool and cute looking card. Is that for the new green? And first up we have a... Okay, I thought this was just an ordinary rare at first but apparently it's a campaign rare. That's why it says CP on the bottom right over here. So campaign rares are essentially kind of like a special bonus cards that you get on top of the usual rarities that you pull from each booster set and this is the Staff of the Fallen Angel Eroa. I am not going to go into too much details for the CPs, I'm going to focus mainly on the main rarities like the Master Rares and the X Rares but I'm sure that those of you guys who play or are into Battle Spirits competitively would already be familiar with all of these, the effects of these campaign cards but that's not what I'm going to focus on in my opening videos. And of course uh, with the Rebirth mechanic we also have a new rarity known as the Rebirth Rares as well as the Rebirth X Rares and I believe there should be Rebirth Master Rares as well just following the sort of trend. So we can look forward to that and up next we have, alright this is a rare, the Druid Girl Bridget, a yellow card and I feel another card behind it. And here is our very first foil in this box, it's going to be the Druid Princess Federma, a Master Rare. So basically equivalent to like the Super Rare or Double Rare in other card games. Federma has the attributes Primal and Dark Arts and when you summon her, you have a choice between two effects. You may either draw two cards from the bottom of your deck or by banishing three cards with the Dark Arts attribute from your trash until your next start step, all of your opponent's spirits, nexuses and Grand Walker nexuses have their symbols reduced to zero and this effect can only be activated once per game. So that, that honestly sounds super powerful because symbols are so important in Battle Spirits and that's why it's so painful to have your uh, board clear because it's not just wasting all like the resources you've spent summoning spirits It also takes away all the reduction symbols you have and that's why it's so important to be able to kind of maintain your board presence in this game Okay, I'm just gonna <laughs> shift that pile closer to me so it's easier to put down the cards A lot of really cool looking cards in this first new booster for this saga though Oh, this one, uh, uh, a music beast for Saras- Whoa, Sarasvati, but Oh my god, is this- yes, this is an X-Rare and I believe this is supposed to be the Avatar Spirit or God Spirit of Demeter, the brand new yellow orange Grand Walker. The Lush Empress God Tesmopolis. The names I give might be different from those on the Battle Spirits Wiki because I'm translating them in real time with my own knowledge of Japanese so if you guys are looking for these cards, it'll be more easier if you take note of their card number and use that to look them up. If this card is in your hand, when your Dark Art Spirit rebirths or is removed from the field by your opponent, you can send one of your opponent's spirits to the bottom of your deck and summon this spirit from your hand at only one cost. However, this effect does not stack so you can't use it to summon multiple copies of Tesmopolis at once. At levels 2 and 3, when this spirit attacks, if your cost is 1 or higher, you can summon up to 2 cost 6 7 or 8 spirits with dark arts from your hand or trash at no cost. However, this effect can only be activated once per turn so again it is not something you can spam if you have multiple copies of Tesmopolos on the field. So campaigns, uh, let's put them on all the way to the extreme right, X's in the middle and Masters on the left. So okay, I have no idea why we are starting off with yellow because very honestly, uh, <coughs> Yellow is not a color that interests me very much within Battle Spirits and especially so for the yellow cards uh, in this set which mainly feature like druids and witches. They're not really like the kind of characters that I like to play. Wow, a revival version of Crystal Wall. Very nice probably to make it a bit more relevant in the card era. Pensan. Okay, I guess they're making more Pensan cards too. Okay. 
armor bat. So our rare is Mutant Ocean Giant Car Curtis. And it looks like we've got another foil immediately. Dude, isn't there like three packs in a row? And this time, very nice. It's a really cool, uh, I think this attribute in English is Shellman Kakujin. It's a green master rare, the Shell Fighter Nokogiri R. Now this is a car design I can get behind. I love it so much. At levels 1 and 2, when this spirit attacks, add one core from the void to this spirit. On top of that, once per turn, refresh this spirit. So that's like... What? Two, two free core every turn? Core boosting? At levels 1 and 2, when this spirit attacks if your count is 1 or higher, your opponent can't activate bursts. And at level 2, when this spirit attacks if your count is 3 or higher, this spirit is not affected by your opponent's card effects. I love how aggro this card is. Oh my god, it is so good. It is like just completely my style, man. It just... When your count is low, it just kind of helps you up your game in the mid game by like accumulating your core. Then once your count is at 3 or higher, it really rewards you for making use of the new rebirth mechanic. Then it just goes in, oh my god, a rebirth card. <laughs> a rebirth card. I mean like the disadvantage of rebirth cards is that it's so obvious when you pull one because you can see the back. Okay, oh, a revival of this card too. I remember seeing it in the past, although I'm not too familiar. I can't really remember what it used to do. Okay, our next rare is going to be for White. The ninth of the Radiant Wise Machines, Amino Mahitotsu. So this is definitely for Amaterasu. And oh, is this our first, uh, it's a rebirth rare. So just a rare. And this one is for Purple. It starts off as this like Knight of Shadow, Durazal. But then once the condition is met, you can flip it around in order to become the Dark Knight Durazal. That is such a cool car. Like, you can you can really see that as the same character, but like going like hyper mode, man. That is so sick. I love this. Okay, unfortunately it's a rare, so we have to put it in the pile with all the other uh, not so important cards. Now let's move on. What cards am I hoping to pull from this mo the most? Well, those of you guys who are keeping track, Oh my god, I know, I just pulled all the cards I wanted already. Okay, okay. It looks like I can't do this anymore. If not, I reveal what card I got both to you guys and to me. So I am going to... From now on, when I open a pack of Battle Spirits, I am going to remove that uh, back uh, checklist without looking so that you guys don't see it and I don't see it before moving it into the camera like this, alright? I am so sorry for that. I was not expecting to be surprised by one of the cards that I really wanted to get, uh, but alright, let's just carry on with this booster. Okay, oh my god. <laughs> but I mean, those of you guys who know, already know. Let, uh, sorry, I uh, need to refocus. Here we go. Oh, what a cool looking whale! Sulfur bottom. Sulfur bottom? That's pretty nice. And here it comes! Our first Rebirth X-Rare. And one of the three world cards released in this set. The next three will probably be released in the next set BS53. Auno Sekai. The Blue World. And when you flip it over, it becomes... Aoki Ishin, the Blue Mutant God. Oh my god, this card is the coolest shit ever. Although the one that I want the most is the red one, like, the blue one is a very close second. Like, honestly, I'd even say they're equal. I'd rather get the red one or the blue one. Of course, I also don't mind the white one, but that's uh, less cool compared to these two right now. Oh my god. Just look at how beautiful this card is. On one side, it's just the Nexus depicting the blue world and battle spirits. And then when you flip it around, it becomes the literal god. And those of you guys who are keeping track know how insane this card is. Like, it's the only the first booster that features the rebirth mechanic. But this card already has an effect which negates on rebirth effects. I am... Not gonna go through this card. First, for those of you guys who are into competitive battle spirits, I'm pretty damn sure you guys already know what this card is capable of doing. Oh my god. Oh my god. The blue world. Okay. Okay. So, as you guys might have guessed from that already, uh, the cards that I'm really aiming to pull from this set would be the world cards, as we saw one already, the blue world. Remaining in this set, we have the red world and the white world, which are also rebirth X rares. But I have 
this little feeling that although you can get multiple X-Rares in a set, they are not going to let you get more than one Rebirth X-Rare in a single booster. But who knows, right? So let's just carry on and see what it's really going to be. The, oh, the Clown Dragon MC Pan Panther Dragon, MC Panther Dragon, okay? I have no idea why it's an MC, but it looks like we're getting a, oh, Alex! Alex Revival, nice, and... Alex, she's being revived as a master, I see. Okay, a master, pretty cool. Okay, I'll shift this over here. It looks like we need to make some space over there. Uh, yes, I'm not going through Alex because <laughs> it's Alex, man. <laughs> okay, let's see what's next. Man, man, this, this is pretty intense. Okay, but I mean, it's only really intense because now I kind of understand Battle Spirits a bit better after watching so much EXTREME GAME! And if you guys are interested in getting into Battle Spirits, I highly recommend keeping watch for the new anime coming out, uh, Garrett of the Revolution. More news will be coming out in June. It'll probably start around August, I believe. But if you want to start now and you have some Japanese knowledge, I really rec- OH! What is that? Uh, oh, it's just a Rebirth Rare, I think. Let me see. Uh, yes, just a Rebirth Rare. Uh, the Blade... Blade Wolf Beast King. Uh, Gao... Gao... Gao Shi, Gao Seed, and oh, this is its uh, like a uh, before rebirth form, just the Wolf King Gao Shi. Nice, and becomes pretty cool after it rebirths. Nice. And there goes our first stack. Was that 10 packs? I believe it was 10 packs. Okay. What do we have so far? I feel like we have pulled way too many f Oh man, I forgot to. Oh, never mind, at least it's just a normal card, doesn't matter. Okay, negative attack. Lizard Edge Revival, oh, but I think we already saw him just now. Okay. Our rare is the Mutant Ocean Man, Shark Man, and this is a card I saw on the Bells Bridge Twitter, and I just think it has such a cool design as well, but oh my god, it's the second card, so we can- Oh, uh, the Trickstar thinking of you. So Trickstar, uh, while I'm not too familiar, she's like, in a way, kind of like a mascot of the yellow color in Battle Spirits, because there are many iterations of this card that have appeared in past sets as well. She is a Master Rare and her reduction symbols count as red as well. When this spirit is summoned, open the top three cards of your deck. Summon one Clown or Dark Art Spirit from among them at no cost, however its on summon effect does not activate. And the rest of the cards are trashed. At levels 2 and 3, when this spirit attacks or blocks, draw one card from the bottom of your deck. So, typical a yellowish support card. I don't understand why we're getting so much yellow. I don't want yellow, give me more red. I wanna make, I wanna make the red world deck. <laughs> Uh, what, what else was I going to say, but she is pretty interesting because it looks like she supports both the new red deck and the new yellow deck, like the cloud- Ah, oh, I saw it again! I hate this! Okay, this is something I don't like about rebirth cards now, okay? It spoils the surprise. Let's move on. But yeah, she, it looks like she supports both uh, the Druid, the Dark Arts Druids, the new yellow deck, and the clown, the new clown red deck as well. Oh my god, my camera, please listen to me today. And yes, here we have another campaign card. Yes, uh, a Tensei campaign, a rebirth campaign this time. And this is a new version of the Grand Walker Aphrodite. She rebirths into Aphrodite Future from Aphrodite Past. So again, the campaign time, not gonna go into too much detail. They are not too important. I'm actually not very sure how applicable these new campaign Grand Walkers are to the current meta. So if any of you guys are like competitive Battle Spirits players, do let me know because when I compare them to the older Grand Walkers, I think that their effects are like kind of weaker in comparison, but the advantage is that they have the primal attribute, which means they are not destroyed by the new uh, god killing cards like God Break and what was that, Chrono, Chrono Dragon as well from the starter deck or the dash deck. It's nice to see that they are still supporting the old Grand Walkers though. Here we have the Silver Dragon Arjunika as rare. And up next... Oh wait 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 wait... What rarity is this? This is Rebirth Rare! Oh wow, so you can get both a rare and a Rebirth Rare in a single pack. And this is the Hero Giant Gaia Titus which rebirths from the... Giant Kid Elva. So yes, it's kind of like a Henshin hero for those of you guys who know about Tokusatsu. The little kid transforming into his hero form. Pretty nice, although uh, 
I'm not too much of a fan of these uh, blue giant cards in terms of their character design. <laughs> I much prefer like the the mutant cards, like the the fishman and like the the blue, the blue the blue mutant king, like we just pulled. Okay, I'm really starting to think that we are not getting more than one uh, rebirth X. A lot of blue spells, but okay, at least uh, even though I'm not pulling that many foils, I'm sure that with the cards here, I can just make some playable decks. I mean, I'm not interested in being competitive anyway. Oh, and our next X rare, I think this is, if I'm not wrong, it's going to be a pretty strong card. It's one of the new Rainbow Grand Walkers, the, the girl who leads the way, Vina. So according to the lore, uh, after Alex uh, reincarnates in this brand new world, Vina, this girl is the one who finds her, picks her up, and then kind of brings her on a tour of this world, kind of takes care of her while she's there. Uh, again, I don't think this is one card that I need to go into too much detail about, <laughs> you know? I'm not just ending up not talking about any of the cards at all. But I don't know, man, it's like, the notable cards, I feel like yeah, most people kind of know what they're talking about. But do let me know if you think that in my next opening for the main series booster, I should talk about what they're capable of. I'm just kind of... Just skipping out, I don't know, a lot of these cards feel kind of familiar to me now since I follow the Battle Spirits Twitter and I am seeing like all the new cards that they post. So, what was it? Yes, that golem. I really love Hephaestus golem cards, they are so cool, really nice designs and artworks. Uh, Dionysus, uh, zombie is not too into that, and here we have the clown dragon, Akeone, Akeone dragon. I'm not too sure what that's supposed to mean, this is our rare. And into a red. Oh, sorry about that. Wise Dragon, a red Master Rare. When this spirit is summoned, destroy one of your opponent's Nexuses. Not bad. At levels 1, 2, and 3, at the start of your attack stat, you can move up to 5 cores from your trash to your red spirits or Nexuses that have the primal attribute. However, this excludes the soul core. So, I mean, I've seen this effect at play many times in extreme game already, and it's just a strong effect. At levels 2 and 3, the Nexus destruction effects of your spirits with an original cost of 5 or higher can also target Grand Walkers without Primal. So again, it's like they're trying to like slay the old meta by allowing you to destroy all of these, uh, all of the old Grand Walkers that don't have like the Primal attribute. But of course, they can be protected still by Aegis, the Saga Brave. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, oh wait a minute, I think I have a better way of doing this now. Anyway, let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, Bionia Silver, wait, this is not, this is not a, yeah, it's not a rebirth card. Lizard Itch. Be a bit <laughs> careful about my stacking over here in the bottom left corner. Next, we have a revival version of the magical Empress, uh, Ambroclus. Is that Ambroclus? Or, yes, Ambroclus. And that's our rare, followed by... Oh, this is a card that Shukuri mentioned in the live stream on Friday, which was just yesterday, right? Yes, and this should be a rebirth rare. It is the, what, the Jagged, for the great, the Jagged Fortress Great Turtle, Thousand, Thousand Imai. I'm not sure what Imai is supposed to mean, and it flips over from the, the Glacier of... I think it's it. No, 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 no. The gla Ah, whatever. The Glacier of a Thousand Years Snow. I'll just call it that. I'm not too sure what these last three kanji translates to properly. Yes, and we're left with two cards. We have five. What's that? Five M's, two X's, one Rebirth X, two campaigns. I think that's all for campaigns. Like, even in the Rider Boosters, I only ever got two campaigns. Actually, I should open it like this, right? I should open it like this, remove it off screen so that you guys can't see. Ah, it kind of slips out a bit. Okay, okay, I'll remove it before looking next time. Okay, okay, let's see. Okay, about time. Oh! Whoa! And next! is our third X, but technically our fourth if you include the Rebirth X, and this is the the X, the, the, the Red X that is not the Red World in this set, and it is the Awakened Dragon Emperor Reversal Dragon. It's funny how it's called Reversal, but it's not actually a Rebirth card, and its attributes are Primal Dragon Man and 
Awakening King? S something like that. <laughs> At levels 1, 2, and 3, when this spirit attacks, you can destroy one of your opponent's spirits with less BP than this spirit. On top of that, if you have 3 or more mono red cards in your trash, for every 2 of your counts, move 1 core from your opponent's life to the void, up to a maximum of 4. So if your count is at 8, you're instantly moving 4 core from your opponent's life to the void, basically destroying 4 of their life. And for those of you guys who don't know, in Battle Spirits, you have 5 life. So this is a pretty intense effect. However, this uh, life destruction effect can only be activated once per game, so you, of course you can't spam it, if not, it's gonna be pretty destructive. At levels 2 and 3, when this spirit attacks, for each of your count, this spirit gains one red symbol, up to a maximum of three. <laughs> so, as long as your count is three, this thing is a quadruple symbol, which is just pretty insane, I mean, I mean. But I mean, of course, there's a lot of white counter defensive cards that can prevent your opponent from reducing your life by more than one within that turn, so... Okay, I don't know if anything got accidentally revealed. Let me just put it away for now. Remove the back card. And let's open our final pack. You know, with this, I'm honestly not expecting anything from this final pack already. I feel like we've got every single card and every single rarity we're supposed to get. Am I supposed to play blue now? I don't know. I've got a red X too. This one might be the tiebreaker, depending on what I pull. Oh, this Billy Billy Jen Viridian field, but with a kind of weird. Oh, right, we've got white field as well. So I guess we've got a field card for every single. Maybe not every single color just yet, but it looks like we'll get one for every single color. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. This is just a rebirth rare. Yes, it is. The Witch of the Earth, Elnese, and Elnese, Elnese, Elnese. Uh, oh yeah, this is the card Yaki was talking about yesterday, I think. And she rebirths over from the Druid Apprentice Witch, Elnese. Yup, makes sense to me. And with that, that'll be all for this booster box opening of BS52. And to end things off, we have a little promo pack here with a special card that features a scene from the recent Asaga Brave OVA, and we got... Oh, hey, I didn't know they had that effect on the text. It's really nice. It's the logo of Battle Spirit Saga Brave over there. And the foiling is pretty intense too. It's like a spiral tornado. And this card is the never-ending battle. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like. As you guys can see, I have already sleeved my Blue World and Blue... Uh, mutant King, I'm uh, Mutant God, I mean, because it is a double-sided card, so I can't just, you know, put it, put it down like a usual card would and feel safe knowing that only the card back is touching my uh, possibly unclean table surface. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, do give it a like. Let me know what you guys think about this opening, this video, as well as these new Battle Spirits cards in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more Battle Spirits booster box openings on the day of release. I am probably gonna continue doing this for the Rebirth Saga at least because I mean, I definitely know the next booster BS53 is gonna have what? Green World, a Yellow World, and Purple World, and I need to get them <laughs> just like this one. I, I'm honestly so tempted just to buy singles of Red World and White World as well just to have like all six of these badass Rebirth X rares. So the next Battle Spirits product I'm gonna be opening is gonna release on May 30th. It's the very first Battle Spirits Gundam collaboration booster, the warriors who gallop across the sky. So make sure you guys subscribe if you guys don't want to miss it or my any other future Battle Spirits videos as well. And with that, hope to see you guys in the next Battle Spirits video.